Hello and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to look at the first of our gas laws and that is Boyle's Law and Boyle's Law is the relationship between pressure and volume. So here we have a simple machine that helps us to picture what is going on and as you see we are adding weight to this piston and as we add weight to the piston that increases the pressure pushing down on this container. Now notice that the temperature is not changing. So for Boyle's Law we are going to have a constant temperature. It is the pressure that is changing and as the pressure changes, as we increase the pressure, we are decreasing the volume of space for the molecules and if you decrease the space of course there will be more collisions more collisions will mean greater pressure so here we have it in a graphical form as the pressure increases the volume is decreasing as the pressure decreases the volume increases volume is on the y-axis pressure on the x-axis and as pressure increases the volume comes down as pressure decreases the volume comes up so this is an inverse relationship so these problems are pretty basic it's a plug and chug mentality and what we're looking at is the inverse relationship between pressure and volume as pressure increases volume will decrease or as volume increases pressure will decrease so let's look at a sample problem of what a Boyle's Law relationship will look like. And here we have a 4.2 liter balloon holding air at 580 torcellis. If the balloon expands to 5.6 liters, what will the pressure of the air inside become? So the first thing we do is identify what you know and what you don't know. So we have a pressure 1, volume 1, pressure 2, volume 2. We are not worried about the temperature because when we are dealing with Boyle's Law, temperature is held constant. So the first unit we deal with is 580 torcellis of pressure. Our initial volume is 4.2 liters. Our pressure is what we are looking for what will the new pressure be inside the balloon if we increase the volume to 5.6 liters so we are going to then choose our equation and plug in the values so of course we are using Boyle's law and Boyle's law is P1 B1 equals P2 B2 initial pressure times initial volume equals the final pressure times the final volume. So let's plug in our values. 580 torr is the initial pressure. The initial volume is 4.2 liters. The pressure final is what we are looking for. And we have a new volume or final volume of 5.6 liters. We now are going to solve and the algebra brings the 5.6 over to the other side to divide and that will equal P2 on its own and the calculation allows us to cancel liters and we will end up with a tor value of 435 tor 435 tor of pressure so as I said, using the Boyle's Law equation of P1V1 equals P2V2, it is simply a plug-and-chug value uh, algebraic solution. Remember that Boyle's Law is the relationship of inverse pressure and volume. Increase pressure, decrease volume, decrease pressure, increase the volume. So keep working on your chemistry.